Well, I've had quite a lot of medical help for depression. Like I've been to doctors since I was 14. I've been on six to seven different medications for depression. And I've been to 14 different counselors and realistically they didn't help me at all. Uh, obviously I have depression, uh, paranoia, uh, bipolar, um, schizophrenic tendencies, anxiety, yeah, that's it. So paranoia is obviously, it can be like quite simple of just think of people are talking about you. Like that's why every time I go out the house I have headphones and listen to music because if not everything gets too loud and then I think the world is trying to destroy me. Schizophrenic tendencies, which is probably the worst thing I have, that's like full on hallucinations. And I always know they're not real. Like no matter what, I always know that my hallucinations aren't real. That's why it's only tendencies I ain't got full blown schizophrenia. Really bad days. Um, I could have like, I could just be sat in this room on my own and in my head I have like four different people stood around me, shouting different things at me, forcing me to do things, stuff like that. Yeah, they're not real, but it can force me to do things to myself that like is real. Like I've hurt myself because of them. Like I have a scar on my wrist where I stuck a screwdriver because I didn't believe my hands were my own. And I thought they were going to kill, uh, were going to kill me. In terms of talking to doctors and counselors, I'm pretty standoffish because I don't believe that they can help. The worst thing they've ever said to me is, oh, imagine your depression as a balloon and put it in the, in, in the cupboard and then just lock it away. It's not a balloon. It can get out of the cupboard because it's in my head, you silly dick. And then I um, left the room. I stormed out the room. The age I started to feel the best were technically about eight, but I guess uh, there were earlier signs of it when I was younger. I think it probably affected my childhood massively. It wasn't just, oh, I'm a different child. It's, I started to realise that it was something mentally wrong because a lot of people didn't have these issues that I were having. When I was about three or four, and, um, oh, fucking hell. Um, and my dad were very abusive as, like, to me, and he's the first person, and the first person who broke my nose when I was like four, punched me off a table. And that's kind of when I started to like, wait, right, something is wrong with me. My relationship with my parents was a bit shit, realistically. Not with my mum, because I used to talk to my mum every day, but with my dad, obviously, he left when I was four and a half, I think. And I've seen him once after that, in a field where he tried to give me give me a hug and I ended up punching him in the stomach and the face and then running away. It got a lot worse after um, I found my nana after she had a stroke. That like pushed it a lot further because I used to be able to see my nana every day. Just go around, see her every day. That used to be like my little happiness in the day. But after that, um, yeah, that kind of made it a lot worse. Like realistically, she was one of my coping mechanisms. I couldn't see her anymore. I, I literally didn't see her for like three months. So I pretty much locked myself in my room for three months. Uh, I barely talked to anyone. Nah, cause it, I, I would say it still affects me now. Every other day I pretty much relived that morning of finding my and having a stroke. Like one of the worst weeks I've ever had anyway was a week when I tried to kill myself four times uh, that week. And uh, that was a terrible week. Nothing really happened though. Like, it wasn't a bad week. It wasn't like deadlines or anything like that. It was just woke up every day and felt like I wanted to die. And then tried to do that. So yeah. Like, I don't want to live for everyone else. I don't want to be like, oh, you shouldn't kill yourself because these people would be sad. I'm like, wait, that doesn't help me, does it? Yeah, they'd be sad if I died, but I'm sad now, so you know. The, the stupidest thing that goes through my mind and the thing that I always go to that is I always want to die on a weekday because I don't want to ruin people's weekends. I can't die, like, I can't die on a Saturday and a Sunday because that's a, week, that's a weekend, people have fun on the weekend. 
I want to die on like a Wednesday because then they get like midweeker. Depression's a mental illness that affects you neurologically and affects how you receive dopamine and perceive happiness. I found my own coping mechanism. Bad days you don't leave your bed because if you leave your bed things get worse. Because a bed is like a safe fault. It's like a little island of yours and you can just sit there and everything will be fine. You can be cozy and it's wonderful. I try to talk to people. If it is a bad day, I literally just sit in my room and talk to myself to get me through and like to try and understand why I'm feeling like that. And then that like sort of pulls you out of it. Like I've learned to like not silence it, but like not follow its instruction, if that makes sense. I guess that's the biggest change because I ain't cut myself in about a year, I think. And like, for, as a teenager, that used to be like every week, so it's just become a lot, not less aggressive, but I can, I can control it a bit better.